spill me the tea. That's right. It is still me. Even though I did something different to my hair. Let me know if y'all like it. Okay. It's definitely too much hair. It's giving too much hair. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into the energy of you Aquarius people. And I really, really want to tap into um, the rebel side of you Aquarius. Now, for those who are watching this video who are not familiar with Aquarius energy or probably just want to skim through because you probably want to see what your Aquarius moon is like or your or your Aquarius and Venus or your Aquarius rising, um, especially those Aquarius rising. Um, I just want to go ahead and drop a couple of bombs for y'all. Um, one thing I do know about it, about your sign that is, is y'all are rebels at heart. Don't like to take no provision from nobody. Not even provision, but like... As far as direction go and somebody trying to offer you good sound advice, you know what you feel like you know what's best. Um, Aquarius mantra, their sign rules the mantra I know. Or at least y'all think y'all know because y'all think y'all know everything and we tired of it, okay? We, the people, the other 11 zodiac signs, I'm going to stand up, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tell them. We tired of it, okay? Y'all don't know everything, but y'all know what y'all know, so we're going to keep it there. But the rebel spirit is what I'm speaking to. The rebel, the, the one that wants to just do what they want to do because they feel like it's okay. The one that's like a Robin Hood, like taking from the rich to give to the poor. The one that's out here, um, you know what I'm saying, like really trying to be like freedom fighters and really trying to like feel like what you're doing is for a good cause, but it's actually not. You are actually um, probably being tempted these days to do nefarious things, okay, straight up. Um, what do I mean by that? Um, I feel like you guys could be tempted to do things that are like less than perfect in society um, or probably very much beneath you as a being, as a human being. Um, I feel like um, people probably are giving you ideas like get, get rich quick money schemes, giving you these kind of ideas and you're like, well, it's harmless. It's like nothing wrong with really doing it, so why not? I mean, honestly, I could do what I want because I already know how this is all going to pan out because y'all think y'all know everything. And what I'm trying to tell you is it's not of your highest good to do that, okay? Um, maybe things might come to you. You might get a little bit of money here or there, but the overall grand scheme of things is it's not very conducive to you as a human being, like into, into your like progressiveness throughout life. Like, you don't want that karma to swing back and bite you in the behind. You know what I'm saying? So, it's probably best that you put in the energy of the spirit of working hard for it and just going ahead and doing all the steps. Because one thing about you, Aquarius, that I know for sure is y'all can't skip a step. Y'all have to literally go through the changes of life. That's why you were born Aquarius. I mean, don't, don't argue with me. Argue with uh, your creator, okay? Because I ain't make you Aquarius. But... At the end of the day, if that is what it is, if you have to go through the steps, then guess what? Good things come to those who wait. And great things are coming to you. I just want to give you that encouragement. It's coming to you. It is. You just got to get out of that impatient factor. Like, stop feeling like you have to have it now because for what? <laughs> It ain't going to change much. You know what I'm saying? It'll be better for you to eat that fruit when it is um, at its ripeness than to eat it before it's fully developed. You see, it could actually make you sick. It can actually cause more harm, see, than good. So it's probably better that if you just take your time, don't miss a step. Go ahead and go through the things. Um, change your perspective on things. Like, just do, do you tell yourself that money comes hard or things that you want is not going to be easily att attained? Because if you tell yourself that, then of course you're feeding more into that energy. So what I suggest you do is to go ahead and cast a spell on yourself. Oh, <laughs> yes. Cast a spell on yourself by way of looking in the mirror every day and tell yourself that things come to me easily, easily and effortlessly. And you have to tell yourself that every day. Then make sure that you continue to write that down in a journal every day, the same thing. Then, in your life, look at things that come to you easily. And if you can't come up with anything, one thing we all can do easily is breathe, okay? <laughs> the spirit of air, hello! You breathe easily and effortlessly without even having to think about it. Thank God for that. Be great, grateful for the things that you already get 
with little to no effort, okay? So that you can bring in more of that energy. Don't ask me if it's true or not. Just do it. Because at the end of the day, this kind of way of thinking will release that energy of you feeling like you ain't good enough to receive things. You're, you are. You're going to get plenty of things. Things just going to come in time. Like I keep trying to tell y'all. It's going to take its time, and that's okay, because in the meantime, there's other things for you to, could be that for you to do, such as like get your mind right and prepare yourself for the blessings that will be bestowed upon you very soon. Baby, that was just a pre-read, okay? Pre-shuffle. We're going to get into the actual read right now, but before we do, you already know I got to pause for the calls, because I don't know if I hear the um subscribe button going off. I know I ain't supposed to hear it, but in my mind, I think I can. So, like I said, see how they go? Get your mind right. I think I can hear it. So, hit the subscribe, please, and thank you. And plus, make sure that you like the video if you like the video, because you know it's a good time over here. And comment below and let me know how this energy resonates in your life. But as I was saying, y'all need to literally get your mind right. And let's see what these cards have for you for the week. Because if you get your mind right, things will actually start coming to you a little bit more easier and a little bit more easier. And your bad days won't be as bad. They actually be pretty good. And your good days will be freaking great, okay? Or whatever. Y'all do what y'all want to do because that's what y'all do anyway. Y'all don't listen to me. And I'm sitting here trying to tell y'all. Get your mind. Get your mind right. Oh, yes. With getting your mind right, you'll get more creative ideas. You'll become more disciplined as well. And I feel like you'll also like feel more um, emotionally fulfilled. Like All these cards have just popped up. I could really just go ahead and just start reading from this right here because I already see I already see where this is going. I already told y'all to get y'all mind right. Some of y'all need to literally take a break, take a, a hiatus. Get away from people right now, okay? Listen to me. If anybody can get away from people like that, it's an Aquarius. Because y'all know y'all love to be alone majority of the time. Because you know and you understand that you need time to think. So you can know stuff. Because <laughs> y'all sign rules the mantra, I know. So if that's what it is, if you feel like you need to like take some time away from people so you can get your mind right, do so. Because when you do, you'll come up with more creative ideas. It's going to be very emotionally fulfilling and financially fulfilling as well. And it won't be nothing that's going to hurt anybody. It's not going to hurt nobody, okay? As a matter of fact, it's going to actually um, put you in a, in a seat of like abundance. You're going to be helping the old and the young. Now, the babies and the, and the dogs and the cats. and the, It's going to help the collective on a bigger level. And that's exactly what you Aquariuses are about. Y'all are about bringing groups of people um, from unlikely backgrounds together, like groups and friendships and things like that. That is y'all thing. That is like part of y'all spiritual gift. So, with that being said, I encourage you to get alone. It's time for you to go ahead and get alone. You know, cancel out your friends, cancel days, cancel parties, cancel events, cancel all that stuff. If you're in a roommate situation, um, maybe you need to just like get away by way of just walking, taking a walk by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Or keeping yourself in the room and just telling everybody, hey, I think I got the flu. They'll stay away from you then. <laughs> but don't put that stuff on. Don't put that out there in the universe. Don't even say you had the flu. If you have to, just be rude. You know what I'm saying? And tell people, look, right now it's not the time I don't feel like being bothered. Straight up. You need to get alone because it's the people around you that's making you feel like you got to do nefarious acts in order to get money. Okay? Or whatever. I feel the, the, the spirit of scam around. But y'all don't want to listen to me. And it's not like you are trying to do this thing. I feel like you just, at the end of the day, it's like you feel like that's the only opportunities that are around. And I feel like you have so much good fortune, Aquarius. Like, y'all have so much good fortune that it's like every card that's coming out is just like an amazing card. I feel like you guys definitely need to get alone and probably and possibly get some um, learning. I feel like... You need to study a skill or task or something like that and really perfect that thing. I feel like um, I feel like it can even be you going back to school or something like that. 
um, and really just putting the work in because like I said, everything is going to happen in divine timing anyway. There's nothing you can do to keep this goodness from coming to you. But if you continue on with the negative thoughts and, and, and getting into the action of doing stuff that you know you ain't got no business doing, um, I'm telling you that you're going to slow down this process that the Lord, that the spirit, that God source energy is trying to bring into your life. You're slowing the process down. Get out your own way. Okay. Y'all are capable of doing anything. Okay. Y'all are capable of doing so much more. Y'all are the ones that are going to come up with the next biggest idea. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and take the time, tap into that energy and, um, stop playing with yourself. I'm tired of telling you. At this point love you always aquarius you know y'all have a special place in my heart okay both of my um two oldest children which is one is 20 and one is 18 are both aquariuses so i got y'all down pay i got y'all pegged so i just want to go ahead and let you know um this is where we end make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already you already know i'm watching and make sure you also like the video, if you like the video, Aquarius. And also, um, mucho gracias in the comments. Thank you for always making sure you hit your girl up and let me know how these readings resonate in your life. So until next time. Mwah.